Welcome to my piano project. This uh, piano was actually developed using Visual C++. Although I've created something very similar to this in a Flash and uh, within my Calculator Plus as well, I also created something similar to this. You can see all those two tutorials on uh, YouTube. But this one is my latest one created in visual c++ i will now play it for you guys so that you hear how it sounds and i'll take you to the development environment That's how it sounds. So I will now take you to Visual C++ development environment, and you guys will see how this project was uh, put together. So let's go to Visual C++. Thank you. Hi, welcome to my Visual C++ uh, visual keyboard. So I've started creating my my buttons or the keynotes. I don't know what they're called, but Maybe they call buttons or keynote. I have no clue. In any case, I'll try my best just to make it uh, sound like a piano. Okay. So I'm going to need a couple of these. I think about 17 if I'm not wrong. Okay. The width of this, let's change the width of that very one. And make it standard that's 50 56 so make this 56 as well yeah and the height is 240 240 and 240 that's cool so might as well just copy this one across as number four and so on i'll get back to you guys as soon as i finish copying this uh, keys now I have my 11 buttons, so the next thing I'm going to do is uh, maybe I might as well just select it all and change the font size. Okay, let me get out of the way. Set the font size to about maybe, let's see, maybe 14. Get that 14 bold. Now maybe, yeah, 14 bold, that's fine. I have to change it up rather than do that. So now the alignment. Let's change the alignment to bottom. And that will be C. Followed by D. Okay, those are my lower key out of the way. Now I need some other key up here. So let's get let me get my two toolbox. Get one of these and put them on top here. Yeah. Maybe about this. Yeah, that, that's a bit all right. about 12 and make that back color I'll change that back color to black okay and the font color change that to white I'm sorry about that Font color, change that to white. B e sharp and uh, align. Let's change the alignment there. So I'm just going to copy this across and change the and change the text on it. Sure. 
shop. shop one okay guys now the key it, now the keyboard is ready all is left for me to do now is to start writing up the codes so I'm going to start writing my codes now but before I do that let me show you where my uh, music are that's my music out there maybe which I made up using uh, my keyboard at home I've actually copied this music note into my vis uh, my visual C++ uh, file that is called that I call piano okay all you just need to do is to copy and paste into your C++ file so if I go back that's my main C++ okay that's the main folder just double click on it double click on the inner folder and just paste the music note right in there so let me go back to visual c plus plus and continue so i'm going to double click on this right now okay so up there i will now start by saying that is supposed to be my if you notice that's my C sharp a C sharp okay and the name I've called C sharp in here let's see C sharp is actually called C underscore S so I might as well just right click okay and just copy I've copied that back into C++ uh, into my code and now I'll start by saying system system okay. media system media okay sound play exponential player equals GC new system CC media and uh, sound player Okay, in this case my sound player if you notice it was C sharp dot wave and make sure you enter your quote your, your speech mark and end it with a semicolon you can see press enter and ask the player to load up the system so I think that might have to be lowercase player load okay and press enter then I will now ask the player again the player underscore play sing I think that's correct so the next thing I'll do now is let me build the system okay, okay build is successful I will now run the system or start the bug So let's give it a try. Can you hear that, guys? That's good. So that's without my speaker. If I put my speaker on, and, uh, and I have my speaker in place, I'm going to give it a try one more time. 
and that is the C sharp. Okay. So the next step is I will just copy and paste the C sharp into the other straight into the rest of the buttons. So I'll copy. Now go into D sharp. Paste the code. Paste the same line of code into D sharp. I but I need I do need to know the name D underscore S. Okay, let's change that. Now that you guys uh, have the idea, what I'm going to do is just to speed up the system and just copy and paste the code and I'll show you the final output. Yeah, welcome back guys. Now I've completed the whole the whole code, so I'm going to give it a try now so that you can hear the various tones. So we start from C. No? Here yeah, we start from C. any need for it you can always send me a request so thank you guys and you all have a nice day bye